Magandang umaga po mga kapatid sa Good Neighbor Christian Fellowship sa lahat po ng atin po mga kaibigan at kapatiran all over the world. It is our pleasure to uh, spend this uh, Lord's Day with you through our online worship service. Tunay po na nagagalak tayo na ito na po ang huling linggo ng October. And uh, we have been uh, studying the theme Experiencing Grace, Mercy, and Peace. At ngayon pong uh, araw na ito ay atin pong uh, bibigyan ng conclusion ang atin pong series. <clears throat> and this message is entitled Come to the Throne of Grace. It's an invitation to experience the God who gives us grace, mercy, and peace. It's a beautiful thing to experience grace, to experience mercy, to experience peace. But above all, the most beautiful thing in this series is to experience God Himself. So let us come to the throne of grace. Before we read our text for this morning, Samahan niyo po ako sa isang panalangin. Father, it's our pleasure to study your words together. It's our joy to drink from the fountain of life. Salamat po, Panginoon, sapagkat sa kabila ng lahat ng mga dinaraanan namin at nararanasan namin, we have the grace of God, the mercy of God, the, the peace of God, and above all, we have God Himself. And we thank you so much for so much goodness that we don't deserve coming from you. Oh, continue to draw us closer to you. Continue to touch our lives like never before, even as we open our hearts to you today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Kung kayo po ay may mga banal na kasulatan mula po sa New Living Translation, Hebrews chapter 4. Verses 14 to 16. Hayaan niyo pong basahin ko sa inyo. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to 16. This is the word of the Lord. So then, since we have a great high priest who, who has entered heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses for he faced all of the same testings as we do. Yet he did not sin. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it the most. May the Lord bless the reading of His Holy Word. Mga kapatid, it's a wonderful thing na tayo po ay my high priests in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ano po, ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng high priests? Alam niyo po, uh, sa Old Testament, God made a covenant with His people Israel. And the mediator between that covenant is Moses, the one who received the law of the Ten Commandments. Subalit alam po natin ang weakness ng mga tao, alam po natin ang weakness ng mediator na si Moses. And so, the people of God failed to observe the covenants that they have with God. And so, so many people died in their sins, and so many people missed all the blessings of the covenant. But God just will not give up on His people. God would not give up on humanity. And so God sent His own Son, Jesus Christ. Ano nga po ang sabi sa John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Now, he did not only give a mediator. He did not only give his covenant. He did not only give his laws. Now, 
He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him, Jesus, will not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 That same Jesus, the Son of the Father, is our, is our high priest. In this new covenant with God, God the Father sent His Son, the mediator between God and man. And not only the children of Israel, but all the peoples of the world, for God so loved the world. We know there's no doubt about it, that God is making a way for the whole world to become children of God. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. He is the only way, the mediator in this new covenant. He is our high priest in this new covenant, in this new testament. And he said in verse 14, So then, since we have a great high priest who has entered heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, dito po makikita natin ang tunay na na description ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. He's, he's no ordinary man. He is the very Son of God. God of Gods. Hindi po yung kalahati tao, kalahati Diyos. Siya po ay Diyos na totoo. I and the Father are one, Jesus said. At siya po'y pumasok na minsan pa sa langit kung saan siya nang galing. At siya po'y pumasok hindi po uh, bilang uh, Hindi po bilang anak lang ng Diyos, kundi pumasok siya this time bilang tagapagligtas ng buong sanlibutan, bilang sasardote, bilang high priests. So let us hold firmly to what we believe. Tayo po'y tumindig ng matibay sa atin pong pananampalataya. Tayo po'y kumapit, humawak ng matibay sa ating pananampalataya sa Panginoong Heso Kristo. na tinanggap natin sa ating mga buhay bilang Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. 15. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses. I like that word, understands our weaknesses. Mga kapatid, wala po tayong pwedeng itago sa Diyos. At hindi po natin kailangang magtago sa Diyos. Alam po niya tayo inside and out. There's no need to impress God. There's no need... to flatter ourselves before God. There's no need to, 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 to pretend and, and, and presume because God loves you and accepted you just the way you are. He has called you and appointed you. It doesn't matter what you, you have been. It doesn't matter who you are at the moment. Oh, God just loves you so much. And He understands Our weaknesses. I have a lot of weaknesses. I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, some of you will be shocked if I tell you what are my weaknesses. And I'm sure you too have weaknesses. There's no need to hide it from God. There's no need to try to impress God. He understands our weaknesses. Alam niyo po ako bilang pastor for more than 35 years. It is my constant battle and struggle to overcome those limitations, those weaknesses, and those failures. And I am so grateful to God that He understands, He cares, and He is faithful. He will not turn His back on me or abandon me just because I messed up, just because I fall, just because I have, I have violated His, His commandments. Oh, He's a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. He's a God of forgiveness. He's a God of compassion. And I love the Lord for all that His goodness bring to, my, bring to my life. He understands our weaknesses for He faced all of the same testings we do. He faced them all. Collective experience of the whole humanity. Mga kapatid, all people of all generations, of all places, of all race, of all, of all uh, tribe and nations, the collective experience of humanity dealing with sin, dealing with temptations, dealing with problems, sickness, 
all kinds of hu human experiences, God has faced all the same testings we do. He understands because He was in your place. He understands because He walked with you. Di po ba napakasarap isipin nun na nauunawaan niya tayo kasi kasama natin siya. Siya man ay lumakad sa sanlibutan. Siya man ay namuhay sa sanlibutan. Siya man ay humarap sa mga hamon, sa lahat ng pagsubok, sa gawa ng kaaway. And yet, He did not sin. He did not sin. Yun lang po ang pagkakahiba natin sa Panginoong Jesus. Tayo po'y dumanas ng pagsubok at tukso. At marami po sa atin ay bumagsak sa pagsubok at tukso. Si Kristo ay bumanas ng pagsubok at tukso. Yet, He did not sin. And so therefore, He deserves to be our high priests. He deserves to be our Lord and Savior and Master. He deserves all our worship and praise because indeed, indeed, He has not sinned. Kaya nga po may invitation sa atin. Verse 16, So let us come boldly. Let us approach with confidence. Huwag po tayong mahiya. Huwag tayong magdalawang loob. Huwag tayong mag-atubili. Huwag tayong matakot na lumapit sa Diyos. So let us come boldly. Let us approach confidently to the throne of our gracious God. Where is the throne of our gracious God? Now let me tell you, the throne of The throne of grace of our God is, <coughs> is not so far away. He, the Bible says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. That is where you meet God. Ang sabi nga po ni Kristo, kung ikay mananalangin, pumasok ka sa loob ng iyong kwarto, isara mo ang iyong pinto, at manalangin ka sa iyong amang nasa langit na nakakakita sa iyong ng sa yung sa yung lihim. So mga kapatid, it's 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 where you meet your God. There is the throne of God. It's not in Jerusalem. You don't have to go to Jerusalem to find the grace, the throne of grace. You don't have to go to Vatican City to find the throne of grace because the throne of grace is right where you are. Con Con, uh, communing with God. So if you find yourself falling, stop for a moment, close your eyes and commune with God because God is right there. Di po ba niya sa atin yun? I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will always be with you. So when you go through the fire, He is with you. When you go through the waves and through the storms, He is with you. When you go through the tunnel of darkness, He is with you. Yun din po ang sinabi ni King David sa Psalm 23, Even though I walk through the dark valley of the shadow of death, you, thou art with me. Thou art with me. So where, where do you find yourself today? Do you find yourself in a hospital? Close your eyes and approach boldly. The throne of grace. Do you find yourself in a prison cell? Come boldly to the throne of grace. Do you find yourself in the midst of conflict? Do you find yourself in, 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 in a painful situation? Do you find yourself in confusion, in sin, in darkness? Oh, my dear friend, wherever you find yourself, you are not so far away from God. Because God is right there with you. All you have to do is to close your eyes and touch God. Approach with confidence the th throne of grace of our God. Verse 6, So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. How do you describe, describe God? You can describe God as mighty, Powerful, consuming fire. But here the writer of the book of Hebrews said, 
come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. Gracious, full of grace and mercy, full of love and compassion and kindness and tenderness. That's the kind of God we have. Don't be afraid of God. He's not a tyrant. He's not a dictator. He's, he, he does not uh, enjoy seeing you suffer. He's not sadistic God. No. He's a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. So come boldly. Approach His throne confidently. There you will receive mercy for your failures. That's what it says in uh, Amplified, in, in, in uh, Philip's translation, to receive mercy for your failures. How many of us have not failed? Oh, the Bible says in the book of Romans, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We didn't make it. We didn't reach the standard. We didn't keep the law. We failed. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We failed. But God is a God of mercy. Come, approach the throne of God where you find mercy for your failures and move on. We don't have to stop and fall to pieces and break apart. We can receive the mercy and move on. We receive the restoration and move on. We receive the forgiveness and move on. We receive the power and the strength and we move on. Let us come to God and experience God himself. He's a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. There you will receive mercy for your failures and you will find grace to help. Grace to help. Not only grace to save you, not only grace to change you, but grace to help you, help you find peace in the middle of conflict, help you to help you to find find wisdom to solve the difficult problems, to get out of confusion, to get out of bondage. To get out of sinful situations, you will receive grace to help you when you need it most. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to issue an invitation to pray. That is how you begin to experience God. It's not a complicated thing. You, didn't, you do not need to memorize a hundred verses. You don't need to learn Greek and Hebrews. You don't need to uh, go to Bible college to understand this, this simple invitation of God. Come unto me. That's what Jesus said, Matthew eleven twenty. 20. Come unto me. All you who labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. You will find rest for your soul. So let's come and experience God. Come unto me. Jesus said, don't, don't come to church because the church building is not going to give you anything. It's a beautiful house of worship. But we don't go to the house of worship to worship the house. We go to the house of worship to worship the God of the universe. So let's come to Jesus. Come unto me, Jesus said. When you come to Jesus, you, you surrender everything to Him. You surrender your cares and your worries. You submit to His Lordship. You abandon all your burdens unto Him. He will set you free from the burdens. He will set you free from the loads. He will set you free from sin. He will set you free from all the struggles and all and all the bondage of your life. Come unto me. That is an invitation to experience the very presence and the very power of Almighty God. Kaya nga po yung salita dyan na isang invitasyon. 
Kaya nga, huwag tayong mag-atubiling lumapit sa trono ng kanyang kahabagan at do'y makakasumpong tayo ng, ng, ng ka- kaawaan at ng, bi- ng, ng biyaya upang tulungan tayo sa panahon na kailangan natin ito. Ano po ang kailangan natin today? I'm asking you. Ano po ang kailangan natin today? Kailangan mo po ba ng kalakasan? You come. Kailangan mo ng guidance? You come. Kailangan mo po ng wisdom? You come. Kailangan mo po ng peace? You come. Whatever you need. Kailangan mo po ba ng, uh, ng tulong, financial? You come. Kailangan mo po ba ng uh, tulong, sa problema nyo sa pamilya? You come. Whatever you need, you come. Come unto me. Jesus said, that's an invitation to you and me. At sa atin pong pagsasara ng atin pong uh, tema sa buwan po ng Oktubre, huwag po nating hayaan na ito po ay maging lesson lamang na papasok sa isang tenga lalabas sa kabila. Let us, let us take a moment and spend some time in solitude with God. Huwag po tayong mag-rush. Humana po tayo ng isang tahimik na lugar at kausapin natin si Lord. Kausapin natin si Lord. Lord, this has... This has been my troubles, my struggle, my problems, my burdens all these years. And I'm so tired and I'm so weary. And I need your help. Oh, help me, dear God. Help me, dear Jesus. Give me the power to overcome this. Give me the strength to overcome this. And then we can move on. And do greater things for God. Let me tell you, your life will be filled with joy. Your life will be filled with passion and excitement. Your life will be full of life. You'll be shining with joy and beaming with life. And you will be contagious. And you will be a, you will be a joy to be with. A pleasure to spend time with. To talk to. To share with. Because you are overflowing with the joy of God. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And that's why we need to come to the throne of grace to find that mercy, to find that grace so we can share it with our people who have nothing but pain and burden and misery and darkness in their lives. Mga kapatid ko po sa Good Neighbor Christian Fellowship, mga kapatid ko po at kaibigan sa iba't ibang bahagi ng daigdig, we come to God not only to meet our, our needs, to experience God Himself, but to be able to share the joy and the peace and the mercy and the grace of God to other people who are in the most difficult of situations in their lives. So why don't you come with me in prayer to the Lord our God. Father God in heaven, salamat po sa pagkakataon na makilala ka namin ng personal bilang Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. Salamat po sa pagkakataon na maranasan namin ang iyong biyaya, ang iyong kahabagan, Panginoon. Maranasan namin, Panginoon, ang iyong mga blessings, ang iyong magandang favor. Maranasan namin ang presensya mo sa aming mga buhay. Ikaw ang Diyos na nag-iingat. Ikaw ang Diyos na nagbabantay. Ikaw ang Diyos na nagpapalakas sa amin. Ikaw ang Diyos na umaakay sa amin. Oh, we thank you. You are the shepherd of our soul. We have nothing to worry. We have nothing to fear. We have God Himself on our side. Oh, glory, glory to you. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa lahat ng aming pinagdaraanan, kasama ka namin. Sa lahat po ng aming pong mga struggles, sa lahat po ng mga tukso ng kaaway, kasama ka namin. We are never, never alone and we are very happy. We are very thankful to you, oh God. Tulungan mo po aming mga kapatid ngayon na nag-struggle sa kanila pong mga problema sa buhay, yung mga, mga nag-struggle sa kanila pong mga bisyo, sa kanila pong mga bandages, yung aming mga kapatid na may napakabigat na pasa na pangangailangan, especially mga kapatid namin may mga karamdaman. Oh God, we approach boldly your throne of grace. Oh God, we come boldly to your throne of grace because there we will find mercy. There we will find grace when we needed it the most. And so God, dalangin po namin sa iyo 
na hayaan mong mag-overflow sa aming mga puso ang kagalakan, Panginoon, ang kapayapaan, ang biyaya ng Diyos upang ito pong nag-overflow sa aming mga puso ay maipasa namin, maishare namin sa iba. Natuyot, natuyot, Panginoon, pagdating sa biyaya. Natuyot, natuyot, Panginoon, ang puso pagdating sa sa, sa kahabagan ng Diyos at, at sa presensya ng Diyos. They don't know the feelings of overflowing joy. They don't know the feelings of overflowing peace because they don't know the God of joy, the God of peace, the God of mercy, the God of grace. And so we come to you, God. Help us to be fulfilled to overflowing that we may reach them out and share with them the wonderful, wonderful grace of God. No, thank you for our online worship services that we share all over the world. And thank you for our brothers and sisters who are praying for this ministry, who are supporting this ministry in prayers and financial help. And help us all, Lord, to do more and more sa kabila ng mga pandemic, sa kabila ng mga restrictions, sa kabila ng mga quarantine, sa kabila ng mga, uh, na, na mga restrictions na kami hindi makapunta sa aming mga simbahan, Panginoon, still The Spirit of the Lord is working in our hearts, working in our lives. And so we thank you for your faithfulness. And we give you glory and honor and praise and worship in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Salamat po sa inyong pagsama sa atin pong gawain ngayong umaga at uh, ang atin pong chairman ay naghahanda ng isang very, very powerful series of lessons for the month of November. And uh, by the grace of God, mga kapatid, patuloy nating mararanasan ang kapuspusan ng kanyang pagpapala at ng kanyang kapangyarihan sa ating mga buhay. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you His peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everybody say, Amen! Amen! God bless you all!